So, today, being Tuesday, the first, um, I, had a, I wanted to wait a couple days, to be honest. I didn't know how to really process what had happened, and after speaking to several people and what happened on Discord the other night, um, I have a very solid idea of why and what and how. Uh, to better explain, I'm permanently muted right now. How I got permanently muted is speculation, but I have some solid leads that lead me to believe that I've stumbled onto something that I thought I, you know, I honestly was not going to make a video. I was just going to disappear into time, but to those of you who would like to pay attention to what I have to say, and the, the proof I do have, uh, I would like to open your mind to the possibility that none of you really know what goes on in this fucking game. Um, example one being Jed. Just Jed as a whole. No one knew that a mod would do that or would be involved in that yet alone selling hundreds of thousands of dollars of gold while working for the company in secret. Um, so I'm permanently muted right now. And I really have no interest in playing. I really didn't have an interest in playing in the first place in the past year or so. Um, Dead Man Mode was probably one of the only reasons why I kept going. And not only did players ruin that themselves, but Jagex has been doing a great A job of fucking it up themselves. Uh, Saturday the... Uh, Saturday the 29th. <clears throat> I got on. And one thing that's weird, and I think I made a video of it in the past, it's probably on private right now because there's a bunch of people who dislike bought my shit. Um, I decided to disappear and make a new YouTube. Uh, but I can unprivate the video for those of you who want to see it, who want visual proof rather than just taking my word for it. Uh, I had 53 mutes on this account. Okay. Um... Oh, there we go. Yeah, see? I have 53 mutes on this account. I'm not going to scroll all the way down. The last mute was April 2018. And it was by a mod. It... This is the perm. I want to see the evidence. There's no evidence. So... With that being said, I'm permanently muted without evidence, and just to show you, it says we sent it into your inbox, and I could give really two shits less, because it says in the thing we're not allowed to show messages from Jagex, but I'm already fucking permuted, so what, what really is the difference? Let's see. Uh, carry it out. Uh, if there's any down during this meeting, See, check in account status. Okay, all right. Let's go to red real quick. So I got a temp mute. All right. And then ten minutes later. They've permuted me manually with zero evidence. Let's see if I can do this. What was it? And they told me to go to account status, right? So we go to account status. There's no appeal button. There's no nothing for it. 
manual permanent boot, see evidence, see messages. So with that being said, let me explain what I was doing the past two days. Um, I have a video of the main chat. Granted, this was over a span of three days, and if I were to take the time, and not to mention that the people involved deleted the pictures almost instantly as soon as sending them, I found a underground group of people who high-risk PK, who say, well, I should say they, they say they high-risk PK, but in reality, we all know that if you're fighting, uh, I, I don't even have fucking gear to show you because it's all not on this account. And good luck, Jagex. I've already sold most of my fucking gold. I'm I'm not I'm not playing your shit anymore. And if I do come back, <laughs> no one's gonna know it's me. I'm gonna change my MAC address. I'm gonna change my IP, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but we all know those people who fight in DH like this. They're 99 HP, and the, I, you know, I'm not in the moment, but I'm explaining it to those of you that don't know, or don't PK, or not at the level, blah, blah, whatever your excuse is not to PK, especially at mains. Um, they're the people who do this. Oh, I can't even. <laughs> I can't even fucking do it. <clears throat> they're the people who take off their armor and safe to 95 HP. Um, if you're fighting someone and they're safing to 95 HP, there is a chance that they are just bad. But if you're fighting someone, they are eating to 95 HP, more than likely they are one of the people that I'm talking about. And if I had to put a number on it, I would say there's about 10 people involved, all with several accounts each, if not more because of how much gold they've made. Um, there's a discord of people who scam risk fights. And when I say scam, I mean they loot glitch, they eat to 95 HP when getting hit and take off their armor and get you with an easy venge combo. They're the people who don't die easily, and they're the people who only die to max hits. There's a group of underground PKers who sell gold. And with the way the events turned, and I have a whole discord of my own friends backing me up who watched all of it happen. On Saturday the 29th, like I said, I w had enough. PKing has died. In fact, I can... Oh, I can't because I'm not members. I can go to World... No, you'll see my email and I don't need people seeing my email. Um... In the PvP worlds, it's almost dead. High risk is even worse. If you show up in bandos, and any one of you can try this, if you show up in bandos and just act like you're there, several people will log in asking you to fight. All different combat levels, but if you pay attention to what they say, and if you talk to them, you can notice that they're all either the same person on a different account, or they're all talking to each other on the Discord. I got permanently muted because I was following around those people, telling people not to fight those people. I was following around saying, these people real world trade for their gold, do not fight them. They will scam you, they will loot glitch you, they will safe, they will do anything they can to get your money. And for two days straight, I was ruining business. I was all over them. They couldn't get a single fight, and if they got a fight, I'd stand on it and fuck it up. I randomly got manually, not not auto, manually permuted for doing this with no evidence. As you saw, there was no evidence that could be shown for what I did. I think I stumbled upon another jet. And this is far-fetched, sure. And I'm not showing more proof than what I've already known. And to be honest with you, just like every other thing that I know, like Chris having a baby and then aborting it, and Spark Mac getting boosted hits to make his gold, skill specs getting boosted hits to make his gold, there is another J mod still active, in Jagex, watching, letting, 
and probably participating in this practice. I baited them into having them all on Discord. See, when I'm in game, I develop this persona most people have. Spark Mac has the ah! You know what I, you know what I'm talking about when it, when it comes to having a persona. I act angry to make people act the way that I want them to do. I'm a great social engineer. I've been social engineering since I was 14 years old in this game, and I can make you do what I want you to do without you knowing that I want you to do it. These people specifically, I called them out. I told them to add me on Discord. I don't have the conversations because I left the conversation because they were doing nothing but spamming me after they figured out they couldn't dox me, just like Don't Panic and Frontline couldn't dox me. Which, speaking of which, I'm undoxable. Good fucking luck. Um, they pulled me into a Discord group of seven people. Eight, depending. But some of them kept leaving because I'm too good at talking shit. Uh where I was posted pictures of them hacking people for 20 bill plus, them doing risk fights, PayPal statements, how much they've made this week, blah, 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 blah. I social engineered them into giving me all this information, and for a while it was all speculation to me. I had thought, and I have mentioned to several people, and in videos, that I think there is a discord of high-risk PKers who all sell their gold, and Jagex lets them. I had no proof up until the 29th. And as soon as I started to do something about it, when I had proof, I got permanently muted with no evidence. I really think I stumbled upon another Jmod, and Matt specifically, I haven't messaged you yet, I know for a fact, old man, that you've been watching my videos since almost the start. Please look into this. Please. There's something going on. Still, you've gotten rid of Jed. But that wasn't a solo job. There's still another Jmod, if not multiple, who are abusing the system and selling the gold while working for you. I really hope this video sparks an internal investigation. And I'm speaking directly to you, Matt. Or Ash. Because you both care. Maybe you don't care. If you sell the game to the chinks, I mean, that proves you don't care. But if you do care, and you care about this game's integrity, and you want to see it grow and prosper, please look into this. There's something going on in the background that not many players know of. And I know most of your team lets real world trading go on for the most part, as long as you're not huge or ripping people off or scamming them, etc. I know you guys let real world trading go on because some of us don't have the means to get a real job or live in a country that doesn't offer real work that's not three dollars an hour so I understand that you let people real world trade especially small-scale but please look into this and you can do the same things that I did trying to figure out the whole story make an account Make an account and go high risk PK and find those people I'm talking about and bait them into doing the same thing I baited them into doing, admitting it. And I'll, I'll, I'll show the whole Discord conversation that I recorded up until a certain point, but it's not going to showcase what they said in voice, the pictures that they posted and disappeared in five seconds afterwards because they know I saw it and they don't want me having those pictures, even though they knew I could be recording at the time because they knew who I was. Please look into this. And I'm not begging you from an aspect of please look into this and get me unmuted. I have zero interest in playing your game if this is the way it's going to be. 
I stopped selling gold myself a few years ago and started to really enjoy the game and stop putting a price tag on it. And when I started to enjoy the game, it's like to compensate for the joy I was feeling, people decided to fuck that. PKs changed. The player base has changed. Everyone's out for each other and their gold. There are really no real relationships internet-wise anymore, despite you guys trying with RuneFest and streams and whatnot. There's a bunch of things that you need to let your player base know that my voice will never cover. And if there's anything I've noticed in the past couple days, and you can tell by the comments down in the comment section below who those people are because they're going to be flaming me after this video, and they're going to be laughing that I got permanently muted for this. But I thought it would be best to make the video anyway, rather than just disappear and not say anything. But if there's one thing I've noticed since the 29th of December, one person cannot make a difference. One person does not have a voice. And we're all hopeless to the system. There are going to be things in the system that we have no control over or even know about. There are going to be people controlling our lives that we have no clue about. And there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it because they're too far. And this is speaking on so many aspects apart from Jagex. We're talking about governments, we're talking about world leaders, etc. There are things that we can't control and one voice does not make a difference. Despite me trying, as you can see, they muted my voice. This video is the last attempt to have someone listen. And I'm going to be posting it on Reddit. It's probably going to get dislike botted, just like my videos. Uh, there's a few people who own a hundred accounts on Reddit like I do, who downvote my shit as soon as I post it. But I still would like to try. For the sake of everyone in this game who plays legitimately and enjoys the game, I would, I would like to still try. This is a warning to all of you, mostly Matt and Ash, and I really hope it's not either of you two, that there is still a Jed in Jagex. And Jed was not alone. Do you think he went all that time without talking to someone about it? Or letting someone in? Or if it was a duo or trio, and I know you've done the internal investigation. But unless you're looking for key factors, you'd never see it. There's still someone in Jagex selling and watching this happen and that person permuted me if it wasn't mod skynet who did the manual there's someone watching and I'm pretty sure you have the tools to find out who was watching me I hope that's the breadcrumbs you can follow to figure out what's going on another thing I would like to mention before going is there's an easy fix to this as well. Since it's specifically around high-risk PKing and mostly Dorocking, one, Dorok is the only Barrow set that does not have a set effect that you can visibly see now. You have changed the game to the point where every Barrow set but Doroks shows when your special ability for the set hits. That's the first change that should be made. When you are hitting high, and it comes from the set and not your hit, Dorok should show it. The second thing that would need to be done to fix this, and I know you listen to my opinions, I'm one of the only people on Reddit and in video, Deadman-wise, expressing how to fix it. And you guys did about half of what I suggested in that video that only has 100 views. So I know one of you is paying attention to what I'm saying. I don't know which one of you it is, and I'm hoping it's Matt. Matt, you're the only one who knew about me. He, and this is me speaking directly to you, Matt, again. That day I came in the live stream as Baypoint, 
and Mod Ash whispered to you, who even is that, when I was talking shit, and you leaned over, and I don't have the clip, I really wish I recorded and saved that clip to prove what I'm saying, but you and I both know, you leaned over and said that's an old video maker. I know you know who I am, and I know you know who I'm about, and I know you've read my conversations in RuneScape to know that I'm a good human being and I'm not like the rest of these fucking scumbags. I've done some pretty scummy things, none of which I'm going to mention on this video, but we all know what I was doing in this game. Please do something. Not for the sake of me. I could give two shits less. I just cashed out with $2,000 and I really have no interest in playing this game. We have millions of games to choose from nowadays. And with virtual reality getting bigger as it is, your, your game won't last for long. If virtual reality goes the way that I think it's going to go, your game won't last unless you go virtual reality either. Computer games won't last. Console games won't last. We're all going to be on virtual games eventually. But for the meantime, please, not as a favor to me, but the rest of your player base, something needs to be done. There's still corruption in your corporation. There's still your employees selling gold on the side and abusing the system. And I have fallen victim to it. And like I said prior, I've learned. You and everyone else have beaten it into me. One person does not have a voice. This video will not get go viral. Like, say, if Bodhi posted it, or SparkMac, or any one of the big YouTubers posted it. No one's going to pay attention to it. And I'm going to fade into the darkness, more than likely. And I'm okay with that. But on the off chance that it doesn't, on the off chance this video actually has some meaning and some people take word to it, please fix your game. And it's only going to start by asking players who actually know their shit, rather than sitting in a group meeting at Jagex headquarters, deciding what's best for your game, not being players. If anything, you should have player advisors who advise you guys on what to do. Kind of like what Isaiah is doing now that he quit Jagex and he's being a mod. I've always suggested in-game that someone should be actively going throughout the GE worlds and banning and muting people who are spamming, etc. And you just started to do it. I mentioned this almost two years ago. If you'd like to offer me a job, and I wouldn't even take it as a job. You don't have to pay me. If you'd like me to do some things for your game or be of another fresh set of eyes to the world that's behind the veil, please do something. And most of you fucking faggots in the comment section flaming me right now saying I sound like I'm about to cry, no. This is what's called clarity. And if you hit a point in your life where things are okay, I'm financially stable for the first time in a decade. Everything's going good. I have a career in front of me. There's nothing you can say to hurt me. This is merely a video warning Jagex and the player base that there is still a jet out there. There are still people selling gold at a massive scale. And these are the type of people who don't deserve it. We all know what I mean but when I say that. Some people do deserve it. Timothy changed. Timothy deserves everything he got, despite me talking shit about him. And that's why you gave him that 100 bill or whatever he has. That's why you boosted his hits. Those people deserve it. The people that I'm speaking about are people like Abyss. Scumbags. Hurting people. 
not caring about what happens a year down the line and only worried about today and selling gold to keep their mothers happy so they don't get kicked out and into the real world and have to get a job. You should find those people for me. I found them. I found them pretty easy. I baited them pretty easy. They're probably going to be on guard not only from me recording most of that and this, but I believe in you. You guys have social engineered us for years, being the player base, so to say. I believe in you. If I was able to find them within an hour, you should be able to do the same on another account or make them think you're me. If they think you're me, they'll openly tell you because they know you won't do anything. And one thing led me to this. One word. And if the name that I say now goes by your head, more than likely you don't know who I'm talking about. But he made me aware that you guys were aware of him as well. Bald Nan. He tried to dox me as well. It didn't work out for him. I'm kind of undoxable. He tried three different people before he gave up and just started spamming me. He's the type of person that you don't want in your game and is making bank off your players. An abusive little asshole who really should die. And I know... Most humans don't like hearing when another human says another human should die. But the type of person he is, he does not deserve to be on this planet. Nor alongside the other people that are with him. They cause nothing but pain and hurt. They ruin the game. Game integrity's ruined. PvP's dead. World 18 doesn't have a single max main in it that's in Edgeville. They're ruining your game. And I don't know if any of you remember this, but it was PKers who made old school RuneScape come back in the first place. And you've neglected us. And you've sat and watched this happen. He told me that one of the JMods was aware that they were all selling gold. And they were pretty protected. And even if they weren't protected and they got perm banned by other means, they could just buy another account because that's how much gold they've made so far. I'm going to stop rambling, or quote-unquote ranting, as some of you would call it, because that's apparently all someone does when they try to make someone aware of the situation that's happening right in front of them, and they're so deep in their heads and stuck in their little fucking bubbles in their world that they can't notice anything going outside besides themselves and their immediate surroundings. Please do something. I'm not asking to be unmuted. I'm not asking to even come back to the game. Make it worth me coming back to the game. We all know it's not worth it. And I'm not interested in selling gold like I was, and that was one of the main reasons why I played RuneScape. You guys gave me the opportunity to make a life outside of a job. And when YouTube fell through, all I had was selling gold. Christopher, Timothy, all sat there and watched my YouTube get hacked and die off while I still attempted every day to make videos, while I still attempted year after year, and you all sat and watched it happen, and none of you let anything... I could have had a different life if it wasn't for that. And I want to thank you personally. Because if it wasn't for that, I would be a completely different person. I'd be like Bodhi. So fucking arrogant. So fucking caught up in myself just like several other video namer video makers I can name right now like I was saying in the article 13 you all need to realize who you are and where you were before you were making all that money it's not about my YouTube it's not about me getting unmuted I just want my voice to be heard I want something to be done towards those players because I was unable to do it myself.
And sure. It's not a little bit depressive right now. But that's only because the game I've been playing for 13 years is not the same game that I fell in love with. And most of you can agree to that. If you've been playing RuneScape over the years, you know damn well this this game is not the same. If you if you look around compared to what we were saying 10 years ago, when we were all kids, we're all adults now. Most of your player base is adults now, rather than 12-year-olds. The game has completely changed. It's not worth it. And I know you guys fucked with my RNG. I, well, I should say, I shouldn't say you guys, I should say someone. More than likely Chris, because he can't handle what the fuck I'm saying most of the time. And despite him trying to act like he doesn't know me, he knows he knows me. And I should be in his place, honestly. I should be where he sits right now. He did nothing. He doesn't care about people. He's not a good person. Spark Mac would have been a better J mod than Chris. But yeah, I'll stop rambling. And I hope my voice is heard. I hope this video doesn't get 10, 20 views like the rest of my videos have been recently. And I hope one of you listens. It's not worth it. I could spend every day making accounts trying to stop what's happening. And it won't do anything. I will literally be wasting my time. Which is why I put all my effort into this one last video. More than likely, if you're still listening to this, you've been a long-time viewer or one of my friends. I'm sorry things happened the way that they did. I'm sorry most of you have watched me turn into the biggest prick possible. This will more than likely be one of my last videos on this channel. And I appreciate every single one of you who stuck through me through the years. Watched me take on tyrants. Watched me take on people who did not deserve the limelight. And enjoy all the flames that I've spent hours on trying to destroy their ego that most of these single PKers have. If you want my honest opinion, you should probably log off the game and go find a new game. You have millions to choose from. You're playing most of you are playing Farmville. And I don't I don't see a point in playing RuneScape just for gathering and skilling and talking to E friends. You have to play the whole game to understand it. And if you don't play the whole game, most of you won't even know what I'm talking about when I say this. Like I said, thank you guys. To those of you who have stuck by me through the years. There are way too many of you to name. But thank you.